Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you're having a blessed and positive day. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will be something on this video or something on this channel mm -hmm, that you will need to hear or see. I'm really glad that you are here and I hope that you stick around. If the content resonates with you, please hit that like button, that notification bell, and join the family. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I really hope that you guys are doing well, staying encouraged, and I hope that the content on the channel is really helping you to heal on your spiritual journey. All right, so let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Inhale positive energy, exhale any stress, any anxiety, any reluctancy, okay? I'm feeling the energy of someone that is really stuck, someone that's really hesitating about making some type of movement forward and you're being urged to come out of that energy. So let's go ahead and take some deep breaths and release that. <laughs> Comment down below, I release all fear, I release all anxiety, I release all stress, I release all doubt, okay? I am a child of the Most High God, I will succeed, okay? Feed yourself with positive energy, okay? I feel some projection energy that is creating some anxiety and reluctancy in someone here, okay? Let's get into this and see what the most high God wants you to know today. <sighs> most high God, divine Holy Spirit, ancestors, archangels, guardian angels, spirit guides, divine beings of the highest white light, please come in and protect our energy. Please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Archangel Raphael, please come in and be with us and help us to continue to heal on this journey please and thank you Ashe. all right holy spirit what is the message here what is the message here okay it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are Somebody is reluctant to do something. Somebody is afraid to face something. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Where are we starting, Holy Spirit? Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, what are the messages, please, and thank you. Okay. What is the message, Holy Spirit? This one. King. Enlightened, benevolent, leadership benefiting those in your charge okay the shadow attributes are excessive feelings of entitlement rulership without restraint okay what else holy spirit Okay, we have queen, healer, and advocate, okay? So we have king and queen. Now, 
The queen's attributes are radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others, becomes arrogant. This is the shadow side. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding, okay? This is the energy of a king of wands and the queen of wands in the reverse is what I'm picking up. Okay, and then we have a healer and advocate. There is a situation brewing right now. Okay, the healer. Passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit, ability to help transform pain into healing, and the advocate inspires you to put compassion into action. I feel like there's some very low vibrational, very childish, king of wands, queen of wands energies, okay? These people don't want to grow up. The initial excerpt was about growing up. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm getting again is this low vibrational king and queen energy. They're very entitled. These people of energetic hmm, spell work is what I just heard towards a healer, towards an advocate, towards someone that is in their purpose, in their north node. Okay. Let's get some energy on these king and queen energies. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. Idea and pride, okay? I feel like these people are very entitled, very prideful, okay? And they keep sitting, plotting with ideas to try to do something to this healer. We have collaboration, okay? These people are working together, trying to come up with a way to stop this healer from healing his or herself as well as anybody else. Anything else for this King and Queen Holy Spirit? Adventure. Yeah, this is giving me the energy of... The chariot okay these people are trying to come for a healer and they are it's a very energetic energy it's a very adrenaline rushed energy to try to hurt someone or stop someone or do something negative to this healer Let's get something on this healer. Yeah, protest. They don't want this person to to heal, to help people. This is the overall energy. Very childish energy with this king and queen in reverse. Holy Spirit. They want this healer confined. Tell us about the healer, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Compromise, okay. I feel like this healer is, well, we hear, we see advocate here. Someone that likes to work things out. Someone that is objective and can see both sides to a story. Someone that wants to uh, rectify, resolve a situation. Card number 33, master number, okay? This healer could be an ascendant master or going towards becoming an ascendant master, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Fate, okay? This is this person's destiny. They are in their uh, calling, their north node, okay? This person is destined to be this healer to help people okay triumph okay this person is 
this person has a birthright to succeed okay the origin this is about this is a divine being okay I'm hearing star seed yeah merit making okay this person it says humanness morality and goodness okay this person is here to create peace okay and this these people want to trap this healer yep can't make it up sabotage out of my life these people want this healer out of their life it was in the reverse okay this is a song by MJ, Michael Jackson. They want to sabotage this healer and have this person. Reason I apologize for that, y'all. Boundaries. Okay. This healer is very heavily protected. What is this, Holy Spirit? Yep, it wanted to come out. Boundaries, okay. There are boundaries set between these people. The Most High God knows that these people are trying to bring this adverse energy towards this healer, okay? We have cloned, okay? There may be a copycat energy trying to portray this healer or trying to make people believe that they are a healer or someone of the light okay with look again yeah this is the energy of the most high and, and people advising those around these people to take a closer look at them to see who they truly are we have illusions at the bottom of the deck in the reverse because these people are placing illusions over people but the 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 masks are falling off what else holy spirit bring it back around what else Holy Spirit can you tell us about this situation yeah all the way up okay this is the this energy of this healer okay I'm hearing your vibration is rising high frequency okay new earth Christ consciousness this healer is someone that is elevating rapidly on an energetic level okay this person is of the light definitely okay this person could be saying something that is really shaking up the demons in these energies okay they do not like the passion that this person has about humanity peace okay working together they just do not like this person yeah as i said angels are all around this person angels are helping this healer talking about you these energies are constantly talking about this healer how they can stop him or her okay this healer has gone through a death and rebirth and recreated their soul okay they're also reincarnated they've been here before okay this is something they signed up for and this person always listens to their heart and their intuition okay anything else holy spirit we're starting over okay I feel as though these this king and queen energy are going to repeat many karmic cycles because they're continuously operating in the same low vibrational manner each time around okay they're not ascending 
they're continuously doing the same thing over and over again this very childish behavior okay we have world renowned and millionaire status okay i feel like I feel like the world renowned energy is going to be on both ends. I feel like this king and queen that's in low vibration are they're gonna make themselves famous, but not in a positive way. Okay. Something I feel like this may happen. Yeah, we have dark coven, dark arts, millionaire status. I feel like these people were doing something, potentially stalking someone with studying in the reverse, trying to plot to figure out how to steal or take money from someone on the other hand i feel like something this healer is creating or working on is going to make them there's some type of lag going on y'all with the, the camera i'm not sure what this is nothing but the devil we rebuke you devil they don't want these messages to get out let's clear the energy and reset So, as I was saying with the study in reverse, yeah, and then plotting came out. So, this that's definitely a confirmation that this group of people or this coven that this king and queen in the reverse are connected to were plotting to steal millions from someone, some organization, some person. Okay, there are a few here, and then we'll get some tarot. We have learning, okay? I feel like this is on both ends. I feel like the karmic energies are learning a valuable lesson. And I do feel like the healer is someone that's continuously learning, trying to grow as well. manifesting okay we have high vibration there we go all right let's see what else we have here and then we'll get some tarot and close this out We have let it go. I feel like your guides are really advising these energies to just mind their business, let you go, let you do your thing. I'm talking to the healer now. I feel like they've been warned several times to stop whatever this is, but they're not listening. Fear not, my child, okay? The Most High God. Angels and ancestors are protecting you, watching over you. Okay. Um, I'm hearing lessons will be learned. Okay. So somebody has to learn the hard way. December could be significant. We have Daniel in the lion's den in the reverse. Okay. These people are going to be in the lion's den. Um, but there will be no one to save them. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, welcome home. Just as I was saying, they're going to be in the lion's den with those lions or the demons that they are potentially conjuring up. And that will be a home for them. This is what the Most High is saying. Nobody's coming to save them.
these people are very triggered by this healer okay you're being guided to meditate okay you're going to receive more insight about the situation about these people and what they are plotting okay my yacht is in the building divine justice is here okay I'm hearing do not pass go elevation in the reverse these people are not going to be able to move forward with anything that they're plotting because it's too late they've done too much okay okay sorry y'all I don't know what's happening but there's a major lag on this video it froze at 21 21 that is significant that also breaks down to 33 another master number again we saw that same number okay let's see remain calm at this time okay you are protected your guides are watching over this situation okay there's nothing these people are going to be able to do to you these people are going to be in a five of cups energy very regretful and sad about their choices okay i'm here all i want to do is help people okay i can feel your energy okay um yeah page of swords they're watching this person like a hawk Stay in prayer, healer. I'm talking to you. Stay in prayer. I'm picking up on your energy. And this is these people just trying to project this fear onto you. You're moving into your new beginning. Okay? And these people are going to be watching you. That's all they can do is watch. Okay? Keep your vibrations high. These are things you already know. But at any time, okay... The slightest thought can allow projections to connect to your thoughts, okay? And have you feeling the energy that they're trying to project onto you. So, yeah. Two of Cups. Ace of Wands. You could be going into a new partnership or relationship. Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, okay? While these people have a lot of burdens coming in fast for them, okay? Because of their Seven of Swords energy, lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive energy, okay? These people have like this, this controlling, authoritative energy, okay? The overall message in the book was about not wanting to grow up. These people want to be the emperor, but they really are pages. They really are very low vibrational, childish people that want their way. I'm seeing somebody having a tantrum stump in their feet. That type, that's the type of energy that these people have, okay? But this emperor energy is coming out as the most high God. I'm hearing you can't be me, okay? These people try to play God in your life. Archangel Michael is here. King of Swords energy standing right beside the most high God, okay? Strength. It's like this person, this energy of this king and queen, primarily the king, I'm feeling. King of wands in reverse type of energy or king of cups in reverse type of energy. Very whiny, volatile, aggressive, abrasive, narcissistic, very controlling, stubborn, tantrum type of energy. Okay, this person says, is telling you basically energetically that you do not have permission to do this healing work that you're doing. That's what I'm hearing loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> Let me just pause to laugh at this person <laughs> for a minute. And the most high God is saying, you can't be me. You can't dictate what my child <laughs> can do. This person is crazy. What else, Holy Spirit? What else? Who does this person think they are? Okay. We have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This is the Most High saying, 
my dearest one, <laughs> you will have a stable home, a happy life. You are doing the work. The Most High God loves you and favors you, and that's why they're pissed. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? There's another lag. I'm, a, I'm gonna cut this video out very shortly because I don't know what's happening. This is the first time this has done this. So maybe it needs to rest, okay? Just like these people do because judgment is upon them. Final messages, Holy Spirit. I heard that's it. <laughs> that's it, judgment is here, the Most High said. I'm going to get you guys some advice. The Fool and the Knight of Cups, okay? This person could be trying to come in foolishly to try to offer you something. Do not take anything from this person. This cup is beaming, okay? Do not trust these people. Do not try to heal these people. Go in and pray. That's what this meditation was about. Where is it? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay? You're going to get the tea on the plots, okay? I'm hearing your guys are going to give you the tea so you know what to expect from these people so that you are prepared and know that justice is here with judgment and these people are about to be very broken hearted three of swords and you my dear queen of cups king of cups energy are going into your chain of pentacles for with this eight of pentacles whatever work you're doing so you have the eight of cups ten of pentacles Ten of Cups, four, um, yeah, Ten of Cups, four of Wands, ten, ten, okay? This is beautiful. This healing work that you're doing is going to make you very successful, world-renowned, very powerful. A lot of people are going to be wanting to subscribe to your business or receive your services or partner with you, okay? These people are going to try to compete. They can't compete where they can't compare, Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, it's a wrap. Okay, this opportunity has been given to you by the Most High God. These people are going to be stuck. Let's get a mindful message and then we'll close this out. Congratulations, my beautiful healer. I love your energy. <laughs> I am enough. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come into my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am. Absolutely, that is you. I feel like through your healing, I feel like you healed yourself first and now you wanna help everybody else heal because you recognize all of this darkness that we have surrounding us in this world. It's a very beautiful energy. You're going to be blessed immensely. What else, Holy Spirit? Tune in. Today, before doing what I normally do, I will take a moment to slow down, to place my hands at my heart space, and take a few deep breaths. I will ask myself what I truly want, and I will honor however I am feeling. Okay, this is something you're always doing. This message is to this low vibrational king and queen in the reverse energy. The Most High is urging you to stop in your tracks before you do any of your karmic activity, interference, projections, low vibrational behavior. Take a moment to stop, to hold your hands on your heart, literally and ask yourself, is this how I want to live? Is this what I want to be doing? Do I want the wrath of the Most High God upon me? Or do I want to try to heal my heart and be a different person? Okay? The Most High God is urging you to go ahead and tune into your heart space. Okay? Check in with your inner child. There's meditations in this description box in the Lightworks goodie bag. You may benefit from those. There are tons. Let's start with the inner child trauma. Okay, that is where your problems started. Something that you have been experiencing since you were a child has prompted you to become an adult that's still in a childlike energy, but trying to get the respect of a king or queen, which you are not. 
baby steps. God loves you too. God wants to see you do better and be better. But it all starts with you taking that first initial step to just stop, fall back before you do that spell work, before you send people after someone, before you speak negatively about someone. Take a few minutes to just think, why am I doing this? Why am I so low vibrational and toxic? What makes me this way? Oh, what's on the bottom? Release anger. Okay, why am I so angry? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anger is a natural emotion, but I recognize that holding on to it can be toxic for me. I look at the person who has caused me pain and see them as a human being. They are. I release the anger. I feel free. I feel and free myself, freeing myself and expanding to love, okay? There's someone that did something to you to make you the way that you are or there's someone that didn't do something to you maybe you did not receive the love you should have maybe you were abused as a child maybe you were yelled at maybe you didn't get any attention maybe uh, someone you you witnessed someone else being exposed to violence or mistreatment or anger or any of these things there is something that caused you to be the way that you are and to start wanting to hurt people and stop people from doing good in this world. Okay, God is asking you to take a moment to look at that. Okay, sit with yourself for just a moment before you put that blunt in your mouth, before you pour that glass of whatever you're going to drink. Just take a moment and sit there. I'm not being judgmental. We have all been there where we use vices to numb ourselves, to avoid sitting with ourselves and reflecting on why our behavior is what it is. I've already passed that point. So I know where you are. Okay, sit there. Give yourself one minute. Or two minutes before you do what you're going to do to numb what you don't want to think about. Think about it for just that one minute. The more you do that, the more you're going to be able to tune in. Okay. I really hope that this message has helped someone. I'm going to go ahead and take a few deep breaths myself. It burns me up when people are just so low vibrational that they want to hurt the people that want to help people. It's sickening. My beautiful, beautiful healer, healers. There's many of us. I love you guys. You are protected. Okay. All they can do is watch. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep loving on people. Keep praying for people. Keep cleansing your energy. Meditating. And showing up in this world. To be the change that we wish to see. Okay. Don't let these folks stop you. They can't do nothing. Blocked. All of the darkness shall come to the light, I'm hearing. Everything under the sun, all of these dark, disgusting deeds done in the dark are being illuminated. The Most High God wins. The Most High God always wins. Don't forget to get to check out that goodie bag in the description box for all those wonderful resources, meditation, spiritual awakening content. It's really going to help you to get your mind in a positive place, to clear your energy. Most high God, divine Holy Spirit, we thank you for the message. I pray that it gets to the right person. I pray that we focus on we return in your remaining energy, negative energy to sender tenfold. And so it is, Ashe. Peace.
peace and blessings my beautiful loved ones until next time I say.